dreams, dreams and vision, or dreams the vision board. Spot on for a new beginning of 2022, of a new year. They all have dreams. They all have a vision. Maybe something, a goal for this year. And how to articulate that and how to put a name on that. Dreams do help us. So welcome everyone for today's session, which is about dreams and the vision. Moreover, also the vision board. What are dreams? Dreams are important for us, dreams for the future. Not the dreams that we are normally having during the night, but really dreams for ourselves to achieve something or to do something different or to learn. It could be a new skill. It could be photography. It could be a new hobby. It could be traveling to another country. It could be dreams for your wonderful holiday in the Maldives or dreams for your profession, for a change of a career. Whatever it is, dreams are important and it's in our nature as human beings. I've got here an interesting quote that I would like to read out to you. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So whatever dream it is for yourself, it's beautiful and it's good for yourself. So let's, what is the future, firstly? Well, the future starts immediately now. The nanosecond after now, the present, until the end of your life. That could be the near future, like for this evening, next weekend, it could be mid future, saying from five to 10 years, you know, you always might remember when you're going to interviews from HR, asking the question, where do you see yourself in five years? And you would ask and tell, well, I don't know, actually, at the moment, but that's the mid, mid tier goal, shall we say, or the mid future and the far future. So then you're getting even older. And what would you like to look like, perceive like? What would you like to have or live like? So why dreams are so important for us? Well, firstly, it's in our human nature and it really invites us to step up, to aim for something, to have something that, that we can work for, give something that we believe in, we aim, gives us meaning because without meaning, what's life? And it motivates us. So dreams are absolutely important for our own personal development. And it means as well that you're taking charge of your own life. You take responsibility, whatever happens in your life, with whatever it is in your power. And most importantly, your dreams for the future and anything that is getting into the way of your future. And what happens if we don't take charge? Well, you know what? Someone will take charge on behalf of you and that will be something or a life that you would not like to live maybe. So it's better that we are in the driving seat and have our own dreams and we live to it somewhere, always with hope, with faith. Our dreams, they really empower us to believe in, to aim higher, to have the meaning. And this is what we always, you know, we need to have our, we create targets. And these targets need to be clear and well-defined. So we have a much higher chance to achieve them. You might, for the career professionals here, relate that to SMART goals, being specific, measurable, action-oriented, real, real, real time, reality, and time bound. Right? And it's really giving us a goal. Life is never made unbearable by circumstances, only by lack of meaning and purpose. A nice quote from Viktor Frankl here. And it does motivate us. It does motivate us to grow personal development. And when we achieve something that we want in life, and that could be anything, it doesn't need to be a big thing either. Maybe you change the car or you move to another apartment, which has a garden or 
whatever it is, right? It brings you satisfaction and fulfillment and a sense of meaning and purpose. Here another quote that I would like to read out for you, and you can read it maybe as well on the presentation, is the greatest danger for most of us. It's not our aim is too high and that we miss it, but it is too low that we miss it. Michael Angelo. So with that said, what happens if we don't have a dream? We, we, we are diving into a black hole. There is no meaning anymore. Why would you live? You want to achieve something, you want to do something meaningful, you might want to share your wisdom with community, whatever it is, but you are then going into, into a state of mind, which is without hope. And that's not good for our brain, for our human being, for our well-being, for our mental health. And how to make dreams reality. So we talked about dreams. Dreams are important for the human being. And we all have something like dreams. But how to make that reality is another thing, right? And we are in the beginning of the new year. So how would you make your dream a reality? And for that, as I mentioned at the beginning, we are going to talk about vision. The vision board. Have you heard about the vision board? The vision board is a visualization where you can either paint, draw, or snip something out of newspapers and put it on a, on a board, you know, what you would like to achieve. That could be, again, a nice visualization or a picture uh, of, of a beach a nice picture of maybe you want to have a dog a dog or a nice picture where you think I want to change my job something like that. and if you have that vision board in front of you every morning and you can put it somewhere wherever you want trust me sooner or later maybe not immediately but within a year maybe within two years it will become a reality but before we drive into the vision board and how to create a vision board as well and how it looks like, I would like to go through with you of a visualization. And what I would like you to do now is the following. I would like you to close your eyes or gaze down whatever feels comfortable for you and start to breathe in and breathe out and really, really feel your natural breath. How you inhale and how you exhale. Put your hand on your heart, the other hand on the tummy and see how it expands and goes in. And how it does feel for you. And whilst you do that, I really want you to, to slowly but surely breathe in very deeply. Hold the breath as long as you can and breathe out. And continue that breathing exercise until you really feel relaxed. Put down your shoulders. Be completely two feet on the ground or if you sit, you can sit, you can have a yoga sit, whatever is comfortable for you. Because we start to dream. We're going to start to dream. I'm closing my eyes. And once you inhale slowly, hold your breath and breathe it out slowly. Visualize that you are going into a cave. into a wonderful dimly lit cave. And in the middle of the cave, there is a crystal ball. And visualize that crystal ball that allows you to see the type of life you want to live in the future. And we told you it could be the future can be nanoseconds from now. Gently pick up that crystal ball and notice everything about it. It's weight, it's shape, the temperature, is it hot, is it cold? Now take a deeper look into this crystal ball. What do you see? 
Do you see your future in this crystal? Visualize it. What would you like to have? What would you like to see? What would you like to live? This includes everything, the near, the mid, the far future. Maybe you want to make new friends. Maybe you want to expand your network. Maybe you want to be better getting into a, into a subject, acquire a new skill, whatever it is. You want to travel, you want to change jobs, anything, anything. And once you look at this very deeply and inhale that vision of your life into your lungs, into your brain, your sense, your emotions, put that gently, the crystal ball, into its place. And I would like to invite you to breathe in and breathe out again, once again, once again. And we come back slowly but surely to our natural breath. I'm inviting you to get to your natural breath. Normal. This is automatic. You don't even need to think about it. Let's get back to your natural breath. And once you're there, what I would like you to do is to slowly open up your eyes and look around a bit. Look around what you see. What do you notice? What's around you? Get your vision, your mind into the now, the plans outside the window, whatever it is. I'll come back to the present. How was that exercise for you? Any reflections? What have you seen? Notice it. And before you forget, put it on your vision board. And what is the vision board? I will show you here now. This is an example of a vision board. Could be anything. Snip it out of magazines, even draw it immediately. If you want, create a PowerPoint presentation and go on YouTube or on Google, look for images which are resembling your future. Want to start sports? I want to eat healthy. I want to change. I want to learn photography. Whatever it is, that's your vision board. And that helps you to articulate what you would like to achieve, what you would like to do either within a year, two years, whatever. And you know what? It really works. Because this is what I had myself as well lived in the past. I had a dream that I wanted to see Africa, but I was living in Turkey. You could have traveled, yes, but it's far away. It's not easy to go. It costs money. And that time, you know, when you're young, you don't have so much. But somehow, somewhere, doing my work, got the offer, to stay there for two months. And that was like a dream which came true. A little snippet could be anything that you're looking for, but it's great to have that. And once you've got your vision board, think about how to achieve it as well. Because if you don't take steps to do it, well, then it will be only staying a vision. So these are the little snippets I would like to give you throughout on my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for listening. And think about what was your main key takeaway from today's session. Reflect, make notes, because only listening is not helping. We need to take action as well. And we need to really inhale and think about what we have learned. And what can I do with this? And everyone's action will be different. So welcome for my YouTube channel as well. Again, I did the meet and greet, but I hope you're going to follow me as well. It will be a mix on this YouTube channel about coaching, coaching techniques, but also personal development snippets like assertiveness, presentation, a bit of communication, 
actually a real mix of our personal development and also some recordings from our Noble Manhattan coaching support groups. Because as you know, I've got three hats. One is the one-to-one -one coaching. The other one is really about personal development, workshop facilitation. And the other one is Noble Manhattan, where I'm so glad to give you, offer you any coach training programs that you like and wish for. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Stay safe, take care, and dream. Dreaming is great. Enjoy your dreams.